All right, so on to some questions for the people out there. Yeah. So you're known as one of the first photographers to interview the road, to interview, to take, to shoot the Rolling Stones. Yep, yeah, that's Tell right. Tell us how that came about. Yes, well, I actually was the first. Briefly. The first, the first. Oh, the first, fantastic. Uh, the very first. I, found, uh, I met Andrew Oldham, who was the first manager of the Stones in the south of France, and he told me he was looking for a music was what 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 it's at now. That was in 1960, and he was going to find a band and he was going to turn them into the greatest rock and roll band in the world. And we both went back to England, and over the next three years, I saw a lot of him. And then in April 1963, he said, "I found them." And I said, "What?" And he said, "I found the band. They're called the Rolling Stones, and I'm going to turn them into the greatest rock and roll band in the world." But he's wrong about that. But um, he did turn them into the greatest band, but they weren't rock and roll. Um, and what, what were the boys like? Did you actually meet them? Well, yes I did, because I actually photographed them and Americans always say that. Americans say about the Beatles, hey you, you actually met the Beatles. You say, yeah, yeah, I photographed them. Oh but yeah, but did you meet them? Uh, well, actually to meet Well, you've people. got to ask, because some photographers yeah. don't meet. I mean, they obviously meet them, but they don't get an insight to their personalities. Oh, well, yeah, about. yeah. I, I was, and I, because I was the only one with a car, um, I drove them around for the first uh, first few months. Oh, so you really got to know them? I got to know them really well, yes. Mm, very good. Philip, tell us, who's your inspiration as a photographer? Well, the two photographers I really think are great are Cartier-Bresson and um, Irving Penn. Both, I'm sorry to say, departed from this planet, but no doubt they're in the dark room in the above. Okay. Uh, what should you do? Let's see. Let's see. Um, Philip, uh, sorry, out of all the wonderful people you photographed, dead or alive, who was the most... Winston Churchill. He had the most amazing... Oh, I don't know what the word is, you know. Aura. Just... Aura. Aura. Aura, that's the word. He had the most aura. amazing aura. He, well, he was such an amazing, inspiring leader. He was. He, uh, Did he, he come was. across as such a powerful... Yes, he did. He was, he was, it was obvious that he wasn't. He wasn't the, the, the local hairdresser, he was somebody very, very important. Okay. Philip, uh, finally... He was asking me about that, about him. Who was? That guy. Because he's uh, bought him. Yes, he bought one. Yes. That's right, that's right. Um, Philip, um, tell us something we don't know about yourself. I'm 72, 73 in June, June the 27th. Uh, my, um, my telephone number is uh, on, the, <laughs> beep, 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 on the internet if you want to ring me and wish me a happy birthday, perhaps <laughs> send me a Ferrari. Okay, Philip, we're doing likes and dislikes. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, you know you love this game. Yes, I've got no dislikes. <laughs> Blonde or brunettes? Blonde. Cafe, cafe, coffee or cocktails? Uh, coffee. Beatles or the Rolling Stones? Rolling Stones. Sweet or sour? Sweet. Love or money? Money. 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 Thank you so much, Philip. You've been a joy. A great honour. Thank you.